All right, this is Trevi Singh here, and our job is to figure out um, velocity, the linear velocity of the projectile as it gets launched. Now, our distance that the projectile is going to be from the center is going to be a distance of 3.3 meters, and that's because the distance of 3.5 meters all the way here, and we've got 0.2 meters from this uh, large mass to the point of rotation. Now, this is going to be a basically a conservation of kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. We're going to start with the gravitational potential energy change as this ball goes down to its lowest position here, and that's what we're going to call the origin. Okay, so if uh, we start here, and then this is the gravitational potential energy change here, and that's going to give a gravitational potential energy increase of this ball and also an increase in rotational kinetic energy for both of these. And we're allowed to ignore the actual mass of our beam of our trebuchet. So the way it's going to work is going to be gravitational potential energy that's caused by this thing dropping is going to equal the uh, kinetic energy rotational gain by the system plus a gravitational potential energy gain okay, by the projectile as it goes up. Okay, so how are we going to do this? It's a little bit trickier way of doing it, but it's simplifying the conservation energy equation a little bit. So we're going to have 65 times 9.8 times 0 0.20 is equal to, well, we've got a kinetic energy rotational. So I'm going to need the moment of inertia for each of these objects. And since they are both point masses, I will equal mR squared. So I'll take 1.5. And multiply this by 3.3 squared. And the I for the projectile is going to be 16.3 kilograms meter squared. And the I for the load mass is going to equal 65 times 0 0.20 squared. And that's going to be uh, 2.6 kilograms meter squared. Now, to get our kinetic energy rotational, we are going to, have to add both of those together. So we'll go one half, okay, and then I'll do 16.3 plus 2.6 times omega squared. Now, we're going to have to look at the gravitational potential energy gain from the 1.5 kilogram ball as it goes up to its max height. Now, that means we're going to increase our height 3.3 meters. So it's going to then be. 1.5 times 9.8 times 3.3. That would be our gravitational potential energy gain. And then solving for omega, what we do we get 2.89 rads per second. And then we can just use V equals R omega in order to get our yield launch velocity for the projectile. So I'll take the same 3.3 and multiply it by 2.89. And the velocity is going to equal 9.53 meters per second.